Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Ankur here from Alif Consulting. Welcome in our Microsoft Sentinel onboarding video. In this video, we will be going to understand how we can go ahead and onboard Microsoft Sentinel in our Azure subscription. Well, here is the agenda of our video. So in this video, we will be going to have a basic understanding about the Sentinel and then we'll going to walk you through with what are the prerequisites, how we can enable the Sentinel in Azure subscription, right? And then at the end, we will be going to have a demo where I would be going to show you how you can create or onboard a Sentinel into the Azure subscription, right? So let's quickly jump into the introduction, right? We enable Microsoft Sentinel and then we set up the data connector to monitor and protect the environment, right? After you connect the data source using the data connector, you choose from a gallery of expertise to create the workbook and then surface inside based on your data. These workbooks can be easily customized to your need, right? Microsoft Sentinel come with the menu of the connector for Microsoft products. For example, uh, Microsoft 365 Defender, Service to Service Connector, we can also enable or create uh, some of the built-in connectors for known Microsoft uh, products for example syslog common event format AWS right so the sentinel is kind of uh, it's also known as a seam solution right uh, Microsoft sorry the system event and incident manager called the seam solution can help us to integrate and analyze the logs and hunt the logs kind of things can be done by using the same solution right and that kind of work our sentinel do so sentinel can be integrated with the multiple source of the data sentinel can be connected with microsoft defender for cloud sentinel can be connect with the azure ad sentinel can be connect with the microsoft office 365 sentinel can be connected with the aws as well so what sentinel do sentinel collect the log from all of these uh, services analyze them and based on that it's give us the alerts if there is a, any security event or anything is need is happening on these uh, any of these uh, services or any of these uh, uh, location from where the data is collected sentinel can analyze those data and can hunt the the the, the, the attacks or can hunt the security issues if there is a, any which has been reported by these events right so what are the prerequisites we have so we need to have a few prerequisites first is we need to have the active azure subscription which is a very basic requirement we need to have a, a log analytic workspace we can do in two way right we can either have our existing log analytic workspace to be integrated with the sentinel or we can uh, we can use or we can create a new workspace for the sentinel while creating the sentinel as well and then we can define what is the data retention is going to be either we want to go with a 30 day retention or either we want to go for the longer retention period just keep in mind if you're going for the longer retention you will be going to pay more for that right a part of that the permission right so the permission is going to be very important part if you don't have the uh, admin access to your subscription what you need to do you need to have the contributor permission to the subscription in which microsoft sentinel workspace aside or need to be created right you need to have a either contribute or reader permission on the resource group that workspaces belongs to you might need other permission to connect the specific data source as well so let's take an example if you're connecting with azure ad if you're connecting with office 365 you might need to have the access to those services as well and then again the third is microsoft sentinel service which we are going to create while uh, having all of these prerequisites in place right keep in mind sentinel is not free service it's a paid service or you will be going to pay as soon as this services has been created right and this is how you can enable it you need to go into the azure portal you need to search for sentinel and then you need to define the workspace and then from there you can go ahead and create the sentinel service we're going to have a e steps i will going to we will be going to uh, create the sentinel uh, service in our azure and we will going to have or understand e step how the step is look like right all right so let's quickly jump into the demo and go ahead and see how we can do or onboard a sentinel into the azure subscription all right i have already logged in into the microsoft azure subscription once you uh, log into the subscription, simply you can go ahead and search for Sentinel here. 
right as soon as you search on a sentinel you just need to click on this one if you are having any sentinel created in this description or you have the access to that you will be able to see your sentinel service created here in my case i don't have any sentinel created so it's not showing me anything in this console so let's go ahead and create or onboard our first sentinel into this subscription right to do that we just need to click on create first of all what it is asking asking us it's asking us a workspace right so that the workspace can be have the existing one or either we can go ahead and create the new workspace also right in my case i don't have any workspace to be created so what i can do i can go ahead and create a new workspace right so let me go ahead and create a new workspace for this and uh, let me define the name right then define the sentinel uh, name right i'm defining it as same define the location i'm putting into the east west 2 define the tag if you want and then go ahead and review and and then you can go ahead and click on create as soon as your workspace is created you just need to select that workspace and then from there you can further go ahead and create your sentinel service into that workspace all right it's taking a little more time yes now it's allowing me to create click on create so as soon as you click on create you just need to wait to get your workspace visible in this tab as soon as you do that you can go ahead and click on that and click on add right and then you can go ahead and do the further steps into the sentinel So once your workspace is created, uh, it will be visible here. In my case, it's not showing it. So let me go ahead and refresh it. Or maybe what I can do, I can go back and create one more time, right? So it's not showing me anything here. I don't know why. Let me go back, go to the all subscription and see if I have. Okay. All right, I know what's a, what is the thing I'm doing wrong. I am selecting the wrong subscription. So you can see my workspace is created. Let's go back into the Sentinel. Switch to the uh, subscription. Yes, click on create. And then it will be going to show me the workspace. I need to click on that workspace and click on add. And as soon as you click on, clicked on add, it will be going to add the Sentinel to, the, to this workspace, right? So Sentinel is what Sentinel is going to do. Sentinel is going to add a few solution in this uh, workspace. And you, what you can do, you can open a duplicate tab and you can go to that workspace and you can see what kind of solution it's the same, the same solution, which is a Sentinel is adding into the log analytic workspace, right? So if you click here, if you click switch the uh, subscription, if you go to the log analytic workspace, if you go to the solutions, you would be going to see plenty of the solution has been added by the seam as of now uh, the onboarding is still in progress right you can see it's still adding the uh, sentinel in it so it's going to take a time as soon as uh, this onboarding part is completed right you would be able to see the plenty of solution has been onboarded to this log analytic workspace keep in mind sentinel is just a service however rest of the thing like storing the data, adding a solution, running a solution is everything is done on the log analytic workspace, right? So you need to give it a, some uh, time to add the Sentinel in this workspace. As soon as this, uh, this is done, you would see there is a new plenty of option has been there on the Sentinel, right? So as soon as uh, your Sentinel is added into the log analytic workspace, go back to the log analytic workspace and go to the solution you will see security insight same solution has been added to the log analytic 
workspace and on the other type we can see plenty of other options are available for us like incident hunting workbook notebook content hub repository data connectors analytics all of these options are available for us to move forward right and then what we can do we can go ahead and clear the correct the uh, create the data collection we can get the security alert and we can do the automation and orchestrations as well so all of these things we will be going to do in our upcoming videos where we will be going to connect microsoft azure ad microsoft defender for cloud office 364 defender for cloud and the azure and the aws also to collect the data from the there so we're going to have all of those videos in the in this upcoming videos right that's it in this demo well i hope you like this video if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and feel free to reach us if you have any questions thank you